Psych! Just kidding. How are y'all doing during this safer at home thing? Uh, to be honest, when people ask me that, my answer is... Mm, life is pretty much the same. I mean, kind of. I'm sure many other artists can attest to that. Um, it did change a little bit. Like, on Sundays, I can't go to church. And on Fridays, we can't take our son to his favorite place, which is the hardware store. And we go there because he loves to hunt down forklifts. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And even though my life has mildly been affected by this global pandemic, I know there are a lot of other people that have been negatively affected severely. So with that in mind, I do so dearly hope and pray and pray and pray and pray that we can flatten the curve regarding COVID-19 cases. Anyways, it's a new type of video. I know you can finally see my stubby fingers doing their stubby things now. I figure it would be best to start filming some pencil and ink or um, what I'm gonna call pink sessions. This is due to the lack of uninterrupted time to actually paint full illustrations current- Oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> For those of you wondering, he was- uh, my son was trying to tell me about some cards he found. Anyways, as I was saying, um, currently I do have a lack of uninterrupted time to paint full illustrations. However, I do always find some time to sketch. So, I figured, why not record them? Okay, with that out of the way, it's time for the main event. Um, so lately, I've received a couple of art-slash-me-related questions from a couple of you guys. Yay! And now, I'm gonna use these pink videos to answer them. Okay, so the first inquiry was... Tell me your all-time favorite artist. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, see, questions like this drive me nuts because I change a lot in pinning down, like, a favorite? That's, like, a favorite of anything for me is so hard. Ask my favorite color and I'll give you my top five favorite colors. But um, there are so many artists that I look up to, so many that I followed and learned from, it's just, ah! I mean, there's like, right off the top of my head, who am I thinking of? Um, Kim Jung-gee, Lowish, Adam from Lucid Pixel, Ross Draws, Mark Brunette from Cube Brush, Bobby Chu, Yume, Proko, Happy the Artist, and Kinney. By the way, rest in peace dear Kinney, we've always loved your work. And uh, there's just so many more. There's too many. I like way too many artists. I seriously wish I had time to name them all. Oh, but I'll be sure to link the ones I mentioned right now in the description. Because they're amazing, even though they're vastly different in their styles. But I did give it some thought. And my longest running favorite artist as of right now is Feng Zhu. Feng Zhu is a concept artist who has worked on many movies and runs an art school based in Singapore. Um, when he first opened up that school, I remember I wanted to go so bad. I mean, I kind of do. But by the time he opened it, I had been married for a short while and financially it was out of the question. And it kind of still is. I guess my favorite thing about him and what makes me put him at the top of my list right now is that he offers so much knowledge for free. Um, he did and still does, however, provide YouTube videos and podcast audio from which I learned a lot. I remember I used to binge listen to all of his lessons for hours on end all day. Ah, good times. To this day, I still listen to them when I need a mental push. I, I seriously wish he had an art book. If there is one with just his work alone that you guys know about, tell me. I must have it. Anyways, next question. 
Um, inquiry number two for today is what specific advice would you give to a new artist who's trying to learn? Hmm, that's a good one. I have a few points. Number one would be learn your fundamentals. As boring as it sounds, you must learn these fundamentals. In the long run, not having your fundamental skills honed will hold you back. I, I know this one way too well. I was stubborn. And I believe when budding artists quit too soon, one of the reasons is that they feel stuck. And artists feel stuck when they can't seem to accomplish the illustrations they envision. Mastering your fundamentals will help you to achieve that every time. I can't stress that enough. Number two, keep drawing because failure is your friend. You will mess up a lot and forever, but it, but it definitely won't be every time, but you will. The beauty of that is you'll learn and learning equals forward motion and forward motion is what keeps you improving. And like Feng Zhu says, just draw. I suck at that. Number three, have fun. Draw within the subjects you enjoy. If it's manga, environments, character design, I mean, do it. But implement your fundamentals or new techniques while doing so. Number four, find the things that fuel the artist in you. Be it music, art books, experiences, whatever it is. It's totally part of self-care. It's not. Just kidding, it is. So there you have it. There will be more videos for this new pink series since I do sketch a lot. And I promise there will be more full paintings as well coming soon. Hopefully, please God, let me get time. But until then, you got any questions? Any stories about me you want to hear? Maybe I should discuss why peanut butter belongs on pizza. If you do have an inquiry, drop them in the comments or private message me on any of my social medias. I would love to hear them. Again, thanks for listening to me ramble. And as always, thanks for watching.